Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Second Win here back with my Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 1, Awake, Let's Play. Last time we hung out around Chloe's house some more, talked with Joyce and David, and right now we are in a dream with William. So let's see where this goes. I started on the pause screen just in case, I didn't want the game to go ahead without me again. Although last time I think I must have accidentally pressed X. Anyway, resume. What's in there? This... Oh. This isn't right. Oh. Shoot, Dave is in the picture. Thought it was William for a second. Normally it is. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. <laughs> William. If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. William. Turn it up. Wow. I knew this was a dream, though. The second I saw it in the trailer. Oh, God. Oh. It's no wonder Chloe drinks. She keeps seeing that in her nightmares. The loss of her father. Poor kid. <sighs> God, Chloe. I can't blame her. Hey. She wasn't there, but it must be awful. Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Right. <laughs> well, we're in familiar territory now. Um, thanks? Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. You. I see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I thanks. see everything. Right. I'll warn everything. Right. <laughs> Bye, David. Thanks for the lift, I think. Blackwell Academy. Hello, Black Hell. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. No sign of, uh, anything Jefferson related. Thank God. Well, I guess he got hired the year Max came back, right? <sighs> hey, we can take a picture of that in, uh, the original game. One of the optional photos for the Platinum. Yeah, everything's pretty much the same, huh? Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Oh. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Nice Who to meet you. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. <laughs> Great. Typical. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. Yeah, really. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. Uh -huh. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Oh. Let me guess, this guy's gonna be Chloe's Warren. Basically. Uh... I'll say maybe. I'll be nice. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? <laughs> That's totally what I was thinking. Sure. Alright. See you in camp. Yeah. Bye. For sure. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be Chloe's Warren, I think. Gotta track down oh. Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. L2 to view your objective. That's cool! That would've helped a lot in the original game, I tell you that. Meh. Well, at least not for now. <laughs> See, Warren or Bro- Hey! <laughs> Thank you. 
Interesting. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Maybe. At the picnic tables. Okay. Victoria! You've got to be kidding me. It's which? <sighs> oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Ugh. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Um... Rachel? What about her? What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Oh. Do tell. This is weird. She's actually, uh... being nice, kind of. Tell what? <laughs> tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. It's <laughs> on Facebook. I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are, like, BFFs. Um, We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. <laughs> oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. Ugh. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, God, I, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. Um... I'll just walk away. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? Chloe! Her name Chloe. is Chloe. Still a bitch? Not as bad as later on, but, uh, yeah, still. Ugh. Gag me with a spoon! Samantha. Picnic tables. That's what she said, right? So, over here somewhere? Yeah. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion would have worked. <laughs> dungeons and, skill er, dungeons and Dragons. It's part of the tabletop game play. You wouldn't understand. Uh, try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's Cut. Blade Runner. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Nice Keep reference. It. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. <laughs> dream life over real life. That's my motto. Totally. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? Oh boy. You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Um... Uh... What's it to you? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. <laughs> Chloe, you should join our game. Uh, yeah. maybe later. I have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Uh... Some other time, sorry. Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. Yeah, sure. Bye. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Oh, joy. joy. Yeah. What, what am I stuck on? Oh, to the fence. <laughs> Alright. Should we head inside? Let's talk to this person, I guess. Hi, nice hey, to meet Chloe. you. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? 
I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Um... The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. <laughs> I'm uh, a little bitchy sometimes. Yeah. So it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. It's okay. I bet. See you later. Nice meeting you, though. She seems nice. <sighs> Info sheet. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. <clears throat> Evan's work is actually pretty good. Oh, Evan? I'd never tell him that, of course. Huh. <clears throat> well, this ought to be good. Look who it is! What, what the hell? What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Wow. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not weird, yours. huh? Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Wow. I actually feel bad for Nathan. <laughs> Again. Um. Take it elsewhere. Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? Please? The mute speaks? Excuse me? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. Dang. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad yeah. lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Ooh. Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oh, no. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. You guys. You know, do something. Yeah, you know well he's gonna wring your necks. Uh, step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? She calls you an idiot. Idiot. Uh. Oh. What should I say? Ooh. Back off. As in, go away. No one's interested in your crap. Uh oh. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Um. Got me feeling sorry? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. <laughs> That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Mm. I didn't press it in time, no! All talk. No game, huh, Chloe? Not fair! Dude! <laughs> that was not cool. That took me months to put together. Oh no! I'm sorry, the Nathan. Team, Twitch, for your own good. I thought I pressed it in time. I'm sorry. Ooh. I apologize. Shit. Next time, mind your own business. You're welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip.
If I'm well, late to class, that's just one more excuse for Mom to sick David on me. That encounter did not go well. Guess we uh better get to chemistry class then. Rachel! Oh nice good. outfit. You're here. <laughs> I guess she wants to show us the play they're about to do. That shirt reminds me of Snow I White. Beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Uh, many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Uh, hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. True. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Yeah, I think that wow. is Dana. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Glad I could help. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. <laughs> I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? You got oh, did you into grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Um, uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Right. Okay, I think I'm going to stop this particular part here, and pick it up with the next one. Again, so far, I'm having fun. 